Greetings! It's me, Firebee, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Reaper. Last time, we took Lazarus up to the chest and had a pretty good run with half of the key and also Ipcac that homed and ended up having teeth and Monstro's lung. So, a whole lung full of massive exploding bombs. Blue Baby got wrecked, as you may expect. Uh, this time, though... Let's see... I haven't done Blue Baby in a long time. Let's do that. I pretty much just did Blue Baby... Uh... So as I could have... The D6, and I haven't touched him since, really. Alright. Cancer. That's amazingly good. So that essentially gives you three soul hearts. And also when you get hit, you'll have... Uh, it'll be as if... Hang on. Fuck. Kind of intended. Well, okay. It'll be like you had the uh, wafer. Can't get to that. Oh well. That was worth it. So as far as I'm aware, Blue Baby has very similar to Isaac stats, but can never have any red heart containers. And starts with the poop. So, there's that. Nice! Small rock, damage up. Can only get those from tinted rocks. And it's just a flat plus one damage. Still pretty nice to have. The poop is a fairly garbage item. But, you know, you can't spell poop without OP. Twice. So, I mean, we're pretty much guaranteed to get a good run, right? Not, not really, but... Yeah, it'd be nice. I will say that. So, I really need to look for Tinted Rocks as much as I can. Because those are essentially health ups for me. Oh, nice. Famine. Blue Famine. Oh, how nice you're being game. Since all health up items are just going to give me... They're only going to give two, uh, or, you know, one soul heart. So, essentially, every tinted rock can give me the equivalent of one or two health ups. Which also means that normal health ups are kind of meh, considering how many other items in the game give soul hearts and such. Alright. Ball of bandages is very good. I'm still hoping to get four of those at some point. Because that'll make uh, Bandage Girl and unlock an item. I think that's what unlocks the Super Bandage? I'm not sure. But you can only get a horseman every two floors. Every set of floors. So I'd essentially have to get one every single time or get lucky uh, and wind up with all the pieces to be able to make it happen with the monster manual. Or mo manual. In, pre in the original it was uh, misspelled as Manuel. So that's how I'm used to saying it. Oh hey, this is not good. Get out of here. Nice. We got the smart fly, so this can't be a bad run, essentially. That's that's essentially what I feel on this. It can't be a bad run if you get the smart fly early on. Or at any point, really. Then watch me die in the next room and blame the smart fly for it. Nah, that wouldn't happen. 
Maybe in the boss room. Ah, uh, fuck you. The effect on, uh, that cancer gives can't really do much right now. Considering that all hits are pretty, except for from champions and bosses, are really only a half heart anyway. But that's what I think of your room. I almost have enough money to go in there. If I get just a little bit more, I might consider it. Yeah, that's what I think of that drop, also. It's been very happy. I've gone to... That's two cellar floors in a row, and I didn't get the haunt in either of them. That's remarkable, actually. And I'm definitely not complaining about that. So pin's pretty easy. Oh, you little shit. Yeah. Take the bandage ball. The ball of bandage is just a lot of contact damage. Alright, what's in here? The nail for three soul hearts. That would essentially be a health up every three rooms, or every six rooms. Yeah, I'll take it. Cuts my health a lot lower than I'd like it to be, but that's fine. Also means that I'm... There's a pretty low chance of me getting any kind of uh, angel room at this point on, but that's fine. It is possible if I get enough uh, faith up items. But it's not incredibly likely. Alright, two keys. I'm gonna... actually, yeah, I'm gonna use one of those keys. I'm gonna save my bombs. I'm gonna use this here and buy the battery to have a full charge for next floor. Essentially give myself a damage up... or a health up at the cost of five cents. And still be able to give myself a health up in the next room I go to. Well, health and temporary damage and speed. But, uh, that's not really the point. Oh, hey. Actually, these are all fairly alright items. It's a heck of a decision. Alright, so you have the Bible, which basically you can use it every six rooms, and you get flight. Yay! Up until you put it down. Also, it will just insta-kill Mom's heart and Mom's foot. But if you use it against anything else, you get insta-killed. So... Heads up. Book of Belial. Damage up. Book of Rev, though. I might take that over the nail. Like, I think I'll take the nail around the floor with me, but I'm going to come back for the Book of Revelations. Because I'm going to use that here, and that's going to make it so that the boss is more than likely going to be... It gives me a soul heart to start with, but also it makes a far higher chance for a horseman to be the boss. So I can get more uh, bandage balls and cubes of meat. Oh, this is not fun. Yeah, fuck you too. So, hopefully this should be a horseman here. Pestilence! And I have more damage since I've used the nail. More damage. I think more speed, possibly less speed. Also, if I get hit, uh, there's a different sound for it, which is a nice little detail. It's nothing really important, but it's a nice little detail that I notice every time. It's little things, you know? 
also, you can stop rocks. I keep forgetting about that. Since it's never actually a thing that I want to do, pretty much. But it is a thing I can do. Alright. Stage 2 ball of bandages. Now has bandage girl's face. And will, in addition to doing uh, contact damage, will also shoot out uh, tears that can charm enemies. It's pretty nice. So I'm going to... I'll check for a secret room there. It's not. Am I gonna carry... Yeah, I guess I'll carry that around for the rest of the floor. Did I take a devil room? Yeah, the nail. Forgot about that. Which means that there was a far lower chance of me getting a double room on this floor. Or a deity room of any kind, I guess. It's a far lower chance after you've just taken one. Now here's the shop. I have kind of enough money to go in there. Enough money to consider it, at least. So what's in here? Alright, the starter deck is a thing. I might consider that, because that'll give a higher chance of, or it'll just make a 100% chance of finding uh, tarot cards instead of pills, which is nice, because you can actually die with pills as Blue Baby, since uh, you don't have any health, but you can't get any red health, uh, a bad trip pill will not turn into a full health pill for you. It will just always be a bad trip pill. And if you have only one heart and you take a bad trip pill, you die to it. Which is not really the best way to die. Alright, sure, thanks. However, that would mean giving up on balls of steel pills, but in having a higher chance of higher event cards. So I don't know. I don't really want this. And this is just anemic. So if I get hit, then I trail a thing of blood. We. It's it's pretty whatever. It's not particularly terrific. Check for a secret room there, because it's most likely there. I was kind of hoping for greed, to be quite honest. since then I could get a full charge on the nail. Uh, since I'm not taking the nail with me... Yeah, I'm sadly gonna do that. And just donate the rest of my money. because getting the donation machine all the way up is nice. Kind of important. Alright, so we will trade the nail out for the Book of Revelations. And, uh... Take that with us. Since that's going to do about the same thing without the extra damage up bit. I'm gonna blow this beggar up here, since there's no way... Alright. There's no way that I'm gonna pay a bunch of keys to him for something that's not even good. Uh, and I will check right here for a super secret room. It's not there, that's fine. And blowing up the beggar gives a higher chance at, at uh, devil rooms and such. But we're gonna go to the next floor. And with Blue Baby, Eternal Hearts just turn into one extra soul heart. If you can get them to the next floor, which is pretty much guaranteed. So, it's a thing. So, right now I want to get at least one charge on the... I want to be able to use the Book of Revelations once per pair of floors. 
at some point. Although in the Depths 1, I will definitely want it on the first of the floors, since the Depths 2 boss is always going to be Mom's Foot. And the same on uh, the Womb floors. Depths 2 is always going to be Mom's Heart. Alright. That didn't even have the decency to be a soul heart. Oh well. Uh, no. I'm pretty sure you can't get more than one horseman per pair of floors, so... It doesn't really matter if I have a charge on the Book of Revelations, but I would like to see my uh, I do first. You little shit. And I do need to keep a closer eye out for, uh... For tinted rocks. Wow! Fuck you! Get out of here! I'm gonna come back for that. I probably could have handled that better and not trap myself in corners like three times, but uh, oh well. We'll see if we can't get something good in the item room to make up for that. I don't have any bombs, so I can't check for a secret room. enough range? Yeah, I do. Nice. And the key. So we'll use this, and then we'll go back for the battery, and then use it again. There we go. And I want to say that using that gives it might have a slight better chance for, uh, Deity rooms, but I could be completely mistaken. I'm not sure. Alright, Rotten Baby's not bad. We'll spit out a fly occasionally. One fly, a grand total of one fly. At a time. Alright, you need to stop. You need to stop. And you need to die. If I had a bomb, I'd check there. Dark Bum would be the best item to get right now. I guess we'll just go take on the boss. And hope for... Squeezy out of it, I guess? That'd be pretty good. Alright, who is it? The Hollow! Along with one of those fake Larry Juniors. What are you doing in here? Get out. You don't even belong here. What are you doing? Get out. That's... That's not even good in any way. Unless you're planning on giving me five dimes. Which you don't. I mean, it's enough to consider... Going into here. Alright. We will buy the options. That's going to make a choice of two items drop from all future uh, boss rooms. And we'll go to the next floor. There's options is pretty good to get early on. Because you can choose between items that you want and ones that you just don't. I will keep that in mind if I get two bombs. Uh, 
Okay. This room is fairly useless. This room is one I don't like. Technically, the closer to enemies you get, the faster uh, the rotten baby will do damage to them. Because that'll mean that the fly uh, hits the enemy faster and and, and uh, the rotten baby will spawn another one faster. Just kind of sooner. Which is nice, since those flies do twice your damage. So, having a way for those to do damage as soon as possible, well, that's always good. And there you saw orbitals doing lots of work. Oh, this is not a room I like very much. Shit. Okay. I don't know what this pill is. Balls of steel! Yes! Alright, now I know what that looks like. Yeah, I figured there was probably one of those over there. Alright, nothing's attached to this room. So we will try out this room. That is the boss room. I want to go to my item room first, though. Let's see if I can get something good out of there first. Oh, uh, screw you. I really need to not be taking... Oh, you little shit. As many risks as I have been. Since it's not like you can really replenish blue hearts that easily. You can't... Soul hearts just don't really replenish like the other ones do. I'll consider it. Let's see, I do have to... I suppose I can attempt to make the boss rush, but I kind of doubt it at this point. At 14 minutes. This run is not particularly powerful. I still don't have two bombs for that. We'll see over here. Well, there's a scent. That's... Not really what I need. Anything good in here? No, there is not. Could use some speed up. That'd be pretty nice. Oh, hey, more hollows. That is to say, more dead things. Okay. Another key is alright. Me? Do I have enough range? No. Of course I don't. So we will just pop one of these and... or both of them perhaps. Can you actually fit out? I don't think you can. These guys can, I know that. They can fit through a one gap space, I believe. They can definitely fit through here. Nope. Get out. Soul hearts, please. That would be greatly appreciated. Or sin hearts. They'd be pretty nice, too. Ah, here they all are. The item rooms and all the spiders. And the shop, even. For all the things I can't afford. What's in here? You know when I said something about not being able to afford, I I was lying. Absolutely. Completely lying.
Alright. We'll use the Book of Revelation here. We'll get another charge on it. We'll use it again. We'll buy a soul heart. And then, since I don't think I've had it yet, I'll buy the trinket first. So now I can hold two trinkets. On the off chance that I find any. Wow, my speed is really low. I didn't think that it was so low. Alright, where was the boss? All the way up in the top corner. Okay. I can handle that. Still don't have two bombs for those. But that's alright. This is Depths 1, I believe, yeah? Yes. Probably not going to get the boss rush, that's fine. Since I'd have to make it all the way through the next floor in four minutes. But I should be getting a horseman here. Most likely. Yes! War! Alright. Now, since I have... Since Conquest has been unlocked, I could get gypped out of the fourth piece of this. Because that would give me the... Uh, the white pony. But hopefully I'll get death next time. Definitely going to take the ball of bandages. Now I have a three-part bandage girl. Which will now walk around the room and damage things by contact and also shoot charm tears. It's pretty neat. Oh, I'm going to take both of these things. Because they are both very good. Okay. This is damage and tears up and also two soul hearts. So I pretty much just paid one soul heart for that. And this is free. As long as you have the soul hearts to support it, this is a free deal right here. Because you get three black hearts back. And it's also a damage up. So, absolutely taking both of those. Those were no-brainers to take. Alright, to the next floor. Alright. I've not actually seen a three-part uh, bandage girl be used, really, before. So I'll, I'll be interested to see in how much... And how the, uh... Oh. Fuck you. And how it's... Whether they've changed the AI from how it was before. Used to be that they would kick bombs around like mad. Well, I guess then it was... Just Meat Boy. But, uh... Judgment. Alright. If I get more money, I will consider that. My damage is certainly alright. Come on. You you can do it. You can do it. Oh, do you only shoot if I do? Okay. I guess maybe you don't actually do contact damage? I'm not sure. Bandage Girl's a little different since she shoot thing, shoots things. No, you do contact damage. Definitely you do that. I guess you couldn't figure out what to do with it. Uh, any tinted rocks in here? Looking for X's in the corners? I don't see any. Come on, bandits, go get in there. Do some stuff. I guess the AI hasn't been changed a huge amount. Since they still are kind of indecisive and don't have the best range and figuring out targets, but that's alright. If I get a fourth stage one, that'll be... that'll fix most of those things, apparently. Alright, Book of Sin. Despite its name, doesn't actually spawn Sin Hearts. It just spawns a random pickup. Every four rooms. It's kind of meh. I mean, it's a thing. It exists. But it doesn't make it particularly good.
All right, one more heart. I don't have any keys to get in there. There's three more cents. Uh, since I did get that extra soul heart, I'm going to throw it away and go into my curse room because there could be good things in it. There could just be spiders or bombs in it, yes, but there could be good things. And that generally makes it worth it. But I didn't want to throw away a sin heart for it. Ah. Come on, good things. That's spiders. Those are not good things. Come on, good things. Those are spiders. How rude can you get? Ah. Alright. Secret room? No. Okay. I feel like I'm moving a lot slower than I was before. Which is odd, because I don't think I've gotten any speed downs. No, not that I'm aware of. What's my time at? 18.58. That means I have one minute to kill mom. From right now. Pretty much. So... Unless the mom fight is right here and I get a ton of damage all of a sudden. Not looking incredibly likely to do the boss rush. We can still try though. Alright, Blue Baby versus Mom. Yes, what is it, Mother? Alright. Now the smart fly is getting in on it. I might just make it. Yes, what is it? Okay. Apparently that sticks out a lot more to the right than you would think. Okay. We're taking that because we're going up. Plus it's the best item for Blue Baby. 30 seconds. That's flight. I... I'll take it. Come on, be a bunch of soul hearts. That's one soul heart. I'll take it. Anything good in here? Not really. There's a good item for doing this, so... Let's see, how to jump. Useless. Piggy bank, kind of useless. Leech does damage for me, but doesn't actually help me. We'll take Ouija board so we can just sit on rocks all day. Since now we can not worry about things trying to hit us on rocks. Of course, have to be careful since there's something that can shoot brimstone here. Those are always the most dangerous things in such a situation. If something shoots brimstone, it's generally the most dangerous thing in the room. That's, that's what I figured out. In pretty much every situation. Alright, this might be a little slow, but I should be pretty safe until things that start shooting bombs in here. Thankfully, this is a champion version of the... of this enemy, so... I don't have to worry about red poop being spawned all over the place. Has no idea what to make of the bandage girl chasing it. Has no idea what to do about that. Carrion Queen, that's its name. And you can do damage to it by killing those hearts. In fact, it's a pretty good way of doing damage to it, in fact. But it can be killed without killing the hearts. Oh, hey. Champion Peep. That's not good. There's also a flying thing here, but I, I think Peep's a little bit bigger of a thing to worry about. Excuse me. Bandage Girl, could you get in on that, please? That'd be terrific. Bandit, Bandage Girl, please. Please. Say your AI is not this bad. Alright. The next foe is up here. Do you see it? There you go. Do all the damage you can. 
Hey, Loki. Here. Bandage girl. Over here. Okay, well. And this is why the... This is why that's the... The Polaroid's best thing. Because you're always going to be at a Polaroid proc. Since you're never going to have... Uh, less than... A red heart. So right now, I could essentially sit on a rock and let the uh, smart fly handle it. Pretty much. Except for the flying things. And bandage girl whenever she really gets in there. The smart fly is a lot smarter. As evidenced by its name, really. I right, have to be careful with the tail ends of these because they can fly and flying things are always dangerous because you can't hide on a rock if they can fly after you okay this ought to drop a soul heart one of these Larry Jr. should at least and then I have to be very careful with that uh I've forgotten your name already. Oh, Fistula up here, since that's going to spawn bomb flies in the smallest forms of it. And bomb flies are bad for business. You don't want a bomb fly anywhere near the rock you're hiding on. If you can help it, if that is. Sometimes you can't. Alright. You can't actually land on rocks, but you can hit me on them. I'm not incredibly worried about you. You'll get wrecked just the same. Okay. This patch of rocks is still safe. And now it's Gertie and Chubb. We can just kind of say here, hey, if you don't mind, and it's go right up there. Yeah, there you go. Right up there. Come on. There you go. Good job. And the smart fly is getting shove. Nope. And I'll finish shove off here. Alright. I always forget what the next one is. Ah, yes, these two. Always go after... Always go after Monstro 2 first. Anything that shoots Brimstone is the most dangerous thing in the room. Pretty much. I can't think of very many exceptions to that rule. Anything that shoots Brimstone is going to be very dangerous for you. Whoa! Hard to see those. Against this background. Alright, that's dealt with. What is the next round? Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Almost hit that. Alright, dead is what it is. Oh, hey, pin! Hello, pin. Get wrecked. Alright. The husk and some hollows. The smart fly is just not quite fast enough to handle these. That's pretty funny, actually. There you go. Good job. Alright, the bloat. Bloat is the most dangerous thing here right now. Especially this one, because it shoots brimstone in two directions, in front of it and to the sides, and it also shoots bombs. Compared to that, Mask of Infamy is nothing. Alright. Hey, 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 don't do that. Hey, bandage! Excuse me, Matt. If you could stop upgrading me, that'd be terrific. Here. There you go. Right there. 
Okay. Now it's Pestilence. I don't act- I'm not actually sure if this version of Pestilence can actually shoot explosives. And this thing here should spawn a soul heart, I think. But they don't seem to always do so, unfortunately. Alright, it did. Alright, war is a bigger threat even though- or death is a bigger threat even though war can spawn bombs. Because... Uh, it can spawn all sorts of nasty things. Most particularly sites, but uh, other things also. Ah, uh, screw you. We'll get War off his high horse. Get rid of Death's horse. Looks like Boop still takes an age to uh, to break through with Spectral Tears. Apparently, Spectral and Spectral Tears and the Parasite are really great combo. Because uh, they split on every rock they touch. Every single one. Okay. This is the bigger threat here because they spawn Brimstone, like that. And anything that does Brimstone is the biggest threat. Because compared to that, the Headless Horseman is nothing. Even though I can shoot bombs at me. I don't think the main portion of it actually still exists. I think the Brimstone dealt with it. Alright, Blue Baby's only friend has appeared in the basement. What? Whoa! Oh! I didn't know that worked here! There's options as giving me two choices for what to take after this. I think that's what's going on here. That's pretty neat. I'm gonna take Monstro's Long. I had that last run with uh, Ipecac, but, you know, Monstro's Long is still Monstro's Long. And still nice to have. Let's see, any more poop? Any more soul hearts? No. I'm gonna have to be very careful. Because I don't have a lot of health right now. To the next floor! Since I've lost almost all the stuff that I... All the soul hearts that I gained from the last two items. Ooh, it's a darkness floor. That's not gonna be fun. Thankfully, I do seem to have a fair bit of damage. And also, the bandage girl to do stuff. Whenever she decides to. Nice. Alright, so I have to still hope for a... Uh, Alright, there we go. I have pretty much guaranteed a... that I'm going to get a horseman. Now I have to hope that it's death and not conquest. Because if it's conquest, then I'm not getting a fourth piece. If it's death, then I... I think there's still a... There's still technically a chance that I could get uh, a cube of meat instead of a ball of bandages, which would be bad. I might not mind some extra tier rate. That'd be good to have. Make this charge faster, at least. Alright, there's the boss. Not gonna complain about that at all. Alright. Please be war. It's double trouble cage? What? What? That's not supposed to happen! I thought it was pretty much guaranteed! 
What the fuck? You just cheaped me out of getting a four-piece bandage, girl. You little fuck. How fucking dare you, Cage? Your movies are awful anyway. Those count as explosions also, by the way. If only I had some sort of orbital on me right now. I didn't even get anything that made me more likely to get a double trouble fight. That's just horrific luck. I will definitely take that. That's a Sin Heart and three bombs, two of which are troll bombs. Of course they are. The other one would have been just one soul heart. Uh. Damn. Well, I guess if the monster met. Hmm. I suppose I could have grabbed the monster manual and just, uh. Or ma manual. And hoped, but. Uh, it wasn't a very high chance. Oh well. That's, uh. Too bad, I guess. I'm just not gonna get that four piece on this time. And that's what makes those achievements and the fact that they have unlocks on them so difficult because there's so many bosses, so many choices for bosses that you could get that actually getting four horsemen in one run is absurd. You're never, it's very rarely gonna happen on its own. And even when you force it, it doesn't always happen. Because, like, this was supposed to be guaranteed. Get, get it in there. Okay. Fuck you, then. How about that? Have you considered that? How about that? Open your damn face. Doesn't matter on this floor, since it's gonna be Mom's heart. I'm not taking any golden chests or anything that requires a key at this point in the game. I'm saving my keys for the chest. I don't know how I didn't get hit, and I will take it. Oh right, I'm flying. I don't have to deal with any of this shit. It's easy to forget. Nope. Let's try heading right here. Thank you. There's a scent that I don't need. Oh, hey. Get out of here. Alright, that's a dead end. There could be a secret room here. Don't even think about kicking the bomb. There is not. I'm having a terrible luck with them tonight. Either that or I'm just not remembering stuff that happened in other rooms very well. I have a heart. Thanks, game. I, I can really use that. Alright, let's just make sure... I don't see any, but I'm gonna put a bomb there, just in case. Alright, yeah, I didn't see any. I had to check. Blue Baby versus It Lives. Nice. The one I get got the other one. Okay. Come on down. I do have some fairly decent uh, damage right now. Come on, get in there. I can be as close as I want right now. 
Cool. Not now, though. Which way are you headed? All right. So we have that. That's a free soul heart on the next floor. We use that, which is another free soul heart, and we go up. Now I've already gotten the unlock for beating Isaac, because that was the D6 for Isaac. Uh, so I'm not going to get one here, but I will get one if I make it to Blue Baby. That's an if, because my health is kind of meh right now. I would certainly like it to be more than it is. Oh, hey. Might as well get that before I get a charge in this room. Get out of here. Whoa! If you could not, that'd be terrific. Sun card, magician card, and that's a judgment. I'll use the judgment here, because he can give me stuff. I'm going to take the sun card with me. Alright, that's the soul heart. So, shrug. It's like a, a three cent soul heart. I'll take it. More keys. I need four keys for the chest. Hey, Wrath. Oh, right. I didn't even notice one of those was already lit. Okay. My health is looking better. Kinda wish I had the, uh... I can words. I know exactly how to words. I'm not going in there. Because I don't have the mantle. Mental is the word I was looking for, by the way. There we go. None of those are keys. Ooh. Hey. If none of you could exist, that would be terrific. It's not a ball of steel pill, so I'm not fussed about it. But I will use my bombs on... Oh, man. I don't know... Fuck you. Okay. Cheers up. Thank you. I don't know why it's generally not considered... Why we don't consider it worth uh, taking a pill if, unless there's two of them. I guess if it's good, then it's like, yeah, then it's good both times. I don't know. What's my charge time on this now? A lot better. That's what it is. There we go. Hey, so if you could not, that'd be great. That'd be really terrific right about now. If you could just not. Yeah, like that. Bob's rotten head. Eh, it's a thing. Not really going to take it, but it's one fewer thing that can appear in the chest. How about no? No tinted rocks in this room. Definitely gonna make as much use out of the Book of Rev as I can. Ah. 
Hey, that's rude. Don't do that. Alright. Time. Blue Baby versus Isaac. <laughs> Definitely gotta get the... Okay, I didn't actually try to get hit there. But, uh... Good to have both of my damaging things in there. Pretty sure that's not supposed to do that. Pretty sure they're not supposed to spawn right under me, but, uh... You know. The game cheats. This is a well-known fact. Excuse me, bandage girl, if you could get in there. Okay. Not right now. Next time. Get in there. Right there. Right there. There's the enemy. Yeah, there you go. Up in this corner. Just barely had enough speed for that. Alright. So that would have unlocked the D6, but we already have it. So we go up to the chest. We have a sun card here for doing damage to rooms. A room. A lot of damage to a room. And also full map. So. I mean, it would also heal me for like an infinite amount of red hearts. But do you see red hearts on blue baby? No you do not. Okay we'll take Lazarus' rags. We unlocked that just last episode. Which is to say like an hour ago for me. And Gemini. Pretty good. Little Chad, sure. You can come along for the ride. And flush. No. We use the sun card here. Raise the sun and all that. So now, in case we fail, there is another chance, but it will be as, uh... It'll technically be as, like, Lazarus 2. So... That won't be terrific if it does happen, but yeah, you know, it won't be the end of the run. Oh crud. Every time I do this. Whenever I'm charging something. Okay, more bombs. This is the only room in the chest that could have a tinted rock. Pretty sure. Hey, wretched. Have you considered not existing? Because it's it's a pretty good gig, actually. I, I think I could get you in on that. Yeah, there you go. Consider it a recommendation. Bomb's pearl. Higher chance for soul hearts to drop. Oh, hey. Double blow. This is not a fun room at all. I would do a lot of things to not be in this room. You can't bomb through rooms in the chest, though. Alright. This is a dead end with no extra items. Yes, I know exactly where my boss room is, but I want to get as many items as I can. I suppose we'll head this way and see. Still takes forever to build fires. I don't know where my super secret room is, but I have a decent idea. Fuck you. Yay, money I can't even use. I'll take the key though. Also, little chat drops half hearts, so it's not terrific. All right, you're doing that whole business. When Gemini is smarter than you, that's that's saying something. There we go. I might just take on a uh, blue baby now because of how my health is dropping due to me being dumb. Be a good card, two of clubs. That's that means nothing to me. Literally nothing. 
three more rooms. Okay. If I don't get hit much in these rooms, then I can get one extra soul heart. If Loki doesn't fucking telefrag on me, then I can get an extra soul heart. You son of a so-and-so. I don't know what a so-and-so would be, but it's probably not somebody you'd want to associate with. Yeah, Loki can kind of teleport right on top of you. It's not very good. Now, you fuck! You fucker! Get out of here. Thank you for the soul heart, but you are not welcome. Please be good. Health up. It's an extra soul heart. I'll take it. I think that made up for it, and I still haven't gotten any items. I don't understand. This is not a good room. I don't like this room at all. These guys have a tendency to do uh, little brimstones on you. I'm more than okay with you just charging. Okay. We'll just have to see, I guess. Blue Baby versus Blue Baby. I'll have to be up close, really. Come on, get in there, everybody. Alright, so... Blue Baby doesn't do those weird... Uh, doesn't do the beams. But Blue Baby does have occasional... Wow, that was easier than the Isaac fight. Alright, and I did get an unlock, so you technically don't have to go into the chest. Like, even if I die at this point, I'm still gonna get that. So, I'm gonna see if I can get any more interesting items. So I may as well go closer to full clearing the chest. Yes, yes, you can have it. Alright. Look, little Chad, I appreciate the enthusiasm, but you're not helping at all. Oh, hey, Blue. How's it going, Blue? I hope it's terrible. So it's best to be at, a, at an angle from him, because then he can't brimstone you. If you're right to the side or right below, you will get blasted with brimstone. And it will not be good times for anybody. Except for the bloat. It'll be great times for the bloat. The bloat will just have a blast of brimstone. Alright. I'm really disappointed at the amount of chests that I'm not getting. Like, that's amazing how many I'm not getting right now. Come on. There you go. Oh, double adversary. That's not fun at all. Yeah, they, they like to do that. They do curve brimstone, which is weird as fuck. I'm very glad one of them's about to be dead. Also, that I'm not losing a full heart here. They also do that. And all of those are considered bomb hits, technically. What the fuck? What's my luck stat at? Okay, it's at one, so I guess that's probably why I'm not getting chess. It's still not great, though. Not a fun room at all. For my damage and health. I'd prefer 
a room that's not this one, really. Alright, there's one of them dealt with. Excuse me, could you not spawn bomb flies? That'd be terrific, thanks. Get out of here. Stop! Spawning! Fucking bomb flies! Thank you! Alright, one more. Thanks! Thanks, game. I really appreciate the dime that I can't use. I don't think I've gotten a single chest outside of the four. That's sad. Not one single chest. I full cleared the entire chest and the only items I got were in the first room. I am so disappointed. All right, where is... I suppose we'll check a couple places for super secret rooms. Because one can be up here, I believe. And one can be on one direction of the boss room. Or it could be somewhere else. There's only a few rooms that there can be in here. Alright. They do like to spawn next to boss rooms. I don't know why. Okay. Sure. Wish I'd looked for that before then. I've been in there. I've been in every room in the chest. Alright. Time to go in the chest then. All right. I'm disappointed in the amount of items that I didn't get in there, but oh well. We we survived and we managed to get the boss rush and the chest item with the blue baby. Not bad at all. Uh blue baby's only friend is uh a little thing that essentially you move it around very much like uh, Fate has appeared in the basement. Uh, you move it around a whole lot like the Ludovico technique, the tier from that. Uh, and in fact, I know people who call it the Pseudo Ludo, which I like. It's a pretty neat name that rolls off the tongue nicely. Um, or it's kind of similar to uh, Robo Baby 2.0. And, and it does quite a bit of damage on contact. To the point where, in the if you get it early on, it can be just better to use that rather than your tears. But it's pretty neat. Uh, you can get it in, in item rooms and such. Uh, fate, though. Fate's pretty nice. You can only get fate out of golden chests. And it will let you fly and give you an eternal heart. It's pretty neat. And it's just one more item in the very small pool of things that can appear in golden chests. Okay, that can appear in golden chests outside of the chest. I, I should make that distinction. But yeah. That is pretty great. So now the blue baby has done essentially half of what it can do. A little bit more than that. At some point we'll have to take them down to uh, down past Sheol to the dark room, but eh, sometime. Sometime when they're feeling overpowered. Uh, next time. Somebody else goes up to the chest, I guess. Who it'll be, I don't know. It'll be a surprise for all involved. Only way to find out is to come back next time. So, until then, farewell. <laughs>